Okay. Well, now I get to feel weird. <laughs> Group six, we're talking about gender like styles as described by Deborah Tannen in the textbook. It's chapter 34 if you want to read into more detail on this. A little bit about the author, Deborah Tannen. She's a linguistics professor at Georgetown University. She talks about her conversational style and how it's not important what people say, but the way that they say it. later uh you just hmm how do i discuss this one where did i even get this from hmm. right. tan goes on to describe that male female conversation is cross-cultural communication she has a piece titled you just don't understand. It's a book that she wrote explaining why men and women often talk past each other instead of communicating on equal levels. The term gender lex suggests that masculine and feminine styles of discourse are best viewed as two distinct cultural dialects, meaning that you need to realize that they're men and women speak differently. However, We'll be doing a lot of editing after this. Let's see. Tan likes to describe that no one likes to be regarded. Wait, what does it say? No one likes to be told that they're talking like a man or a woman. However, it's just a descriptive factor of masculine versus feminine, feminine two different styles. And she assumes that both the masculine and feminine and feminine and feminine. <laughs> Tannen assumes that both the masculine and feminine conversational styles are equally valid. She says that we try to talk to each other honestly, but it seems at times that we are speaking different languages, or at least different gender lexes. There's her terminology. All right, women's desire for connection versus men's desire for status. Tannen uses a lot of examples from the movie When Harry Met Sally to help illustrate these points. So if you've seen the movie, you can kind of think back on some scenes where Harry and Sally just were not on the same page. She describes that women seek connection while they're in the middle of communication, whereas men seek to develop status and make themselves look better during communication. Tannen also discusses the subject of rapport talk versus report talk. Rapport talk is the feminine conversational style, and it's used to try and seek a connection with others. The report style is the monologic style of men that tries to command attention, convey information, and win arguments. Uh, report talk versus report talk is broken down into five big subgroups. The first of which is private speaking versus public speaking, which assumes that women talk more in private and men tend to speak more in public. The second point is in telling a story. Tannen states that men tell stories to try and achieve status, while women tell stories to achieve a community feeling. Uh, an example of men trying to achieve status is by telling jokes that kind of have a can you top this feel to it. The third point, which we're going to be talking more about, is listening, which Tannen discusses that women try to relate and find common grounds, whereas men try to dominate conversation. Fourth point is asking questions. Women will ask tag questions, which is a short question at the end of a Hmm. A tag question is a short question at the end of a... Why can't I not say declarative? I can not film right now. <laughs> I just saw you with your phone there. A tag question is a short question at the end of a declarative statement, often used by women to soften the sting of potential disagreement or invite open and friendly dialogue. 
Whereas with questions, men avoid asking questions because it tends to show ignorance on their behalf. And the fifth and final point of rapport talk versus report talk is conflict. Tannen says that women try to avoid con conflict because it's a threat to connection. Whereas men try to dominate conversation, so if conflict arises, they're just going to try and one-up the other person instead of trying to avoid it. Listening. This is Listening and conflict are going to be the two big focuses of our presentation. And Tan describes listening with women. They look for a sense of connection and understanding. And women like to use terms such as yeah, mm -hmm, right, or other responses during conversation that show that they're listening or understand what the other person is saying. The feminine conversational style also shows that women will begin to speak before the other person is finished speaking to show support or understanding for the other person. Whereas men try to control communication to establish their status. Men will avo avoid being submissive or being put in a one-down stance. And also men view interruptions in communication as a move for power by the other party. And as such, they'll try to reestablish their dom dominance in the conversation. And if you follow this YouTube link, you will see our skit that we prepared to help illustrate listening. And our second point we're going to talk about is conflict. Tannen says that women see conflict as a threat to communication and avoid it at all costs. Whereas, as I said before, men have the tendency to see conflict as an attempt to limit autonomy and they will react in a dominating fashion. And if you follow this YouTube link, you will see our second skit that we've prepared to help illustrate conflict. And that's the end of our PowerPoint. We'll go on to have our group presentation and answer questions.